If you want to buy a 2-in-1 PC, most of the options are with the Intel processors, like the Surface. But today I got my hands on the first 2-in-1 PC powered by AMD processor, the AudioCube iWork GD12. But can it rival the Surface? Let's find out. Now you have a chance to win this awesome 2-in-1 PC for free. The rules are simple. First, subscribe to our channel and hit the like button. Leave your comment about the PC down below. Second, share this video with your social media account. We will then draw one lucky winner from the 10 comments with the most likes one week after the video is posted. The luckiest guy will win the PC for free, and the other 9 people will receive a pair of wireless earbuds as consolation prize. More importantly, do not believe or reply to any Telegram and WhatsApp winning messages or scams. We will only top the winning messages in the comment section of this video. Anyway, good luck to you all. And if you want to have this PC right now, please head to our store geekwheels.com. You can get a $100 discount right off using this code. And meanwhile, we're working with AudioCube and AMD to give away a keyboard and leather case to all subscribers who order the PC in the following week. Check the links down below. Here's a very interesting meme in China about AMD that I want to share with you guys. Every time AMD becomes a competitive again, bringing great alternatives, gamers will say, AMD yes like shouting yeah to an underdog who won the game. So this time, I must say AMD yes. Okay, back to the review. Now the question is, how would this 2-in-1 PC with an AMD processor perform? This video will give you the answer. In terms of design, the front of the iWork GT12 is similar to a typical Android tablet, coming with a 12.6 inch 3x2 ratio screen and a compact body. However, on this size, there's a sloping design, which visually reduces the thickness of tablet. Well, pretty smart trick. Apple GT12 weighs around 915 grams, so I would like to place it on the table or on my lap more often. But if only for light entertainment, I prefer to hold it in my hands while touching the display or operating without the keyboard kit. The lightweight is just good for that. The shell has a nice gray look, and the back of the matte finish rejects fingerprints and stings well. There are also metal contacts on the bottom for attaching the keyboard. It's worth noting that this PC has two cameras at the front and back, like an Android tablet. The image shot on both for video conferencing is good, but for such a budget PC, I wouldn't ask for anything more than its image quality. In terms of port, the iWork GT12 has two full-featured USB 3.2 Gen 2 Type-C ports, which not only support charging and data transfer, but also external monitors. Not only that, it also has a USB 3.2 Gen 2 Type-A port, which means that in most cases, I don't have to use a Type-C docking station. And the GT12 also has a headphone jack and support TF card expansion up to 512 gigs. It's safe to say no one will be disappointed by the expandability. In terms of performance, the iWork GT12 is with a 4-core 8-thread AMD Ryzen 5 7520U processor. Along with a 16 gigs LPDDR5 memory, it is unusual to see such a hardware combo in a 2-in-1 PC. I first tested it in the CPU-Z. The 7520U performance is roughly equivalent to the same 4-core 8-thread desktop CPU, the i7-4790K. Compared to the latest flagship processors, the 7520U's single-core performance is about half of that i9-13900K. But please keep in mind that 7520U is a mobile processor with a 15-watt TDP, so from this aspect, really nothing to complain about. After that, I ran two rounds of tests with the latest Cinebench 2024, and the results showed that the multi-core performance was about half of the i9-9880H, and the single-core was about 85% of the i9-9880H. Overall, in terms of extreme performance, thanks to the TSMC 6 nanometers, the chipset really exceeded my expectations. Overall, it's hard to find someone using such a device to run high-performance software like C4D, Blender, AE, and so on. Now, with the 7520U processor, the iWork GT12 is perfectly suited for my office and entertainment needs. During the performance test, I found that the CPU was running at a high clocking, which made me curious about the CPU strategy of the iWork GT12. During a 10-minute CPU stress test in IDA64, the CPU's power consumption was close to 20W at the beginning, and the CPU was running at a high clocking of 4GHz or even more, and eventually, the CPU's power was stabilized as 15W, with the CPU clocking still at 3.8GHz, and the CPU temperature was 93 degrees Celsius. This is a very good performance for a portable PC. And during the stress test, the fan was really calm. I could only hear a subtle airflow sound. There's no sharp airflow noise like most gaming laptops. The 7520U has an integrated AMD Radeon 610M GPU that uses a very advanced RDN2 architecture, which is very nice, but the Radeon 610M only has two CU units. 
For gaming tests, first we run the Genshin Impact. On the 1080p graphics, the PC runs at an average frame rate at 45fps. In the CSGO, turn it down to 720p resolution, the iWork PC could still run at 100fps. The good news is that the temperature control is excellent. And thanks to the RDN2, the 610M GPU supports the latest AV1 hardware decoding, so the iWork GT12 is great for light gaming and video play. The 16 gigs of dual channel LPDDR5 memory is excellent and it's hard to see such a memory configuration at the same price. Paired with a 512 gigs MEME storage, this is a very competitive combination. There's no doubt the screen is a highlight. It uses a 3x2 ratio of 12.6 inch IPS screen. The resolution reached a 2K level. The screen is clear and delicate. And in the brightness of the performance is also very good. Even if you use it outdoors, the brightness of the screen is also very satisfying. And the screen also supported 10 point touch and 40 96 levels of pressure sensitive handwriting. So, in this price range, it is amazingly competitive. In terms of software, it comes with a Windows 11 Home Edition pre installed. And then, when paired with a 7520U, the experience is very smooth. It gives me a very good experience in my daily officing and movie watching. And since it's a two in one PC, I can use it pretty much anywhere, lying down on a sofa or bed as I want for casual gaming. In terms of keyboard, the iWork GT12 we use is the same keyboard layout as the Surface. Compared to the previous keyboard we used, which was also from AutoCube, the GT12 as a keyboard is a significant step up in look and quality. And the typing experience is just as good. And the touchpad is nothing different from the most Windows laptops. The iWork GT12 has a built-in 5500 mAh battery, so it can last for about 4 hours for web browsing and office work. Well, that's not bad for an x86 device. For charging, it supports up to 45 watt PD fast charging and gets fully charged in about an hour. I'm very happy with the iWork GT12 due to the support of the PD protocol and USB-C ports. The new iWork GT is a very versatile 2 in 1 PC with an AMD Ryzen processor and an excellent touchable screen, but more surprisingly with a friendly price tag. The iWork GT12 is going to be a new option in the market, and I would love to see AutoCube release more 2 in 1 PC with AMD processor. If you still want to join the giveaway event, make sure you subscribe and comment. If you want to get it right now, please head to Geek Wheels and Geek Stop right now.